praise God. My name is Sylvia Kimani. I'm born again this day. I thank the Lord for this far that he has brought me. And I'll be sharing with you today's devotion from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 9. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for this time that you have given us to listen from you and to learn from your word. How I pray that you will speak to us and that God will speak into our situations. We bless your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, as an introduction, uh, Joshua is is a man in the Bible who gives a, a great picture of how God can use an ordinary man to bring him through extraordinary situations and for him to stand out because of his faith and his trust in God. So in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, from verses 1 to 9, we will learn about how God encouraged Joshua even as he was preparing him to lead the children of Israel to cross over into the promised land. So I will read through even as we get what God is speaking to us this day. So Joshua chapter 1 verse 1, it reads, After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, who had served Moses. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now you and all the people prepare to cross over the Jordan to the land I am giving the Israelites. I have given you every place where the sole of your foot treads, just as I promised Moses. Your territory will be from the wilderness and, and Lebanon to the great Euphrates River, all the land of the Hittites, and west to the Mediterranean Sea. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I will be with you just as I was with Moses. I will not leave you or forsake you. Verse 6, be strong and courageous, for you will distribute the land I swore to their fathers to give them as an inheritance. Above all, be strong and very courageous to carefully observe the whole instruction my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you will have success wherever you go. Verse 8, this book of instruction must not depart from your mouth. You are to recite it day and night so that you may carefully observe everything written in it. For then you will prosper and succeed in whatever you do. In verse 9, haven't I commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So from the word of God, from the verses we have read today, we will be able to pick a few points of how God is encouraging us in our life, in our day-to-day -day life, in our every situation that we go through, even as he encouraged, encouraged Joshua to lead the Israelites into the promised land. Uh, from verse 1, we see that Joshua walked with Moses. From the story of Moses, we learn that Moses was called by God and was given instructions of how he would lead the children of Israel out of Egypt into the promised land. So Joshua was able to live with, with Moses and able to know what God is doing and was able even to learn the ways of God from Moses. Moses was, was the one who was leading him and showing him the ways of God. So even as we go through life every day, we also need to identify people who are close to God, who know, who know how to live according to the word of God and have been called by God. We will get to identify these people only if we seek God, we pray and trust him that he will guide us to the right people. From verse 2 to 4, we see that God has promised us great things. God promised the children of Israel that he would give them the territory from the wilderness and Lebanon to the great Euphrates River, 
and the land of the Hittites and west to the Mediterranean Sea. If you, f if you are able to get a map of those areas and you map out to see the area that God promised the children of Israel, you will find that this, the children of Israel did not know about this land, but God knew about it and God had promised that he will deliver them and that he will take them to the promised land. Although they had hard times in Egypt, God had promised them and he kept his promise. Sometimes in life we find that maybe you're going through something that is hard in your life. Maybe the time that you're, you're living on this earth, you find that you're getting discouraged. But I'm encouraging you, even as the children, children of Israel were promised the, the land that God had promised them, God has promised you an inheritance and he will prepare it for you as long as you're ready and willing to listen and to follow him. Every day live your life being encouraged, knowing that God knows you and God has something great in store for you. Uh, from verse 5, we see that God will never leave us and he will never forsake us. And no one will stand against us as long as we live because God has promised to never leave us or forsake us. So in everything that you're going through, sometimes you go through challenges in life. It reaches a point you feel as if God has left you. But I'm encouraging you and I'm telling you this, this day that God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. Only if you confess and believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God because you will have that which God has in store for you and it will come to pass because God is always working with you. In verse 6, uh, we are also encouraged to be strong and courageous and God has an inheritance for us. As we see verse 6 in verse, uh, in verse 2 to 4 and verse 6, God has promised us something. So this is as an, an emphasis because it has been repeated twice in the, in the verses that we have read. In verse 7 to 8, we are instructed to observe uh, the instructions given to us for us to have success wherever we go. The instructions that have come to us to guide us is from the word of God. We will never get any other instructions in this life that will guide us. We will only have what is written in the word of God. Because in the word of God, we find solutions to everyday life. We find examples of people who lived in the past and were able to face challenges and were able to overcome because they trusted in God. So in the word of God, we will find every solution to every challenge that we are facing in life. We will also find the promises that God has in store for us. And we will also find the encouragements that God has in store for us. At the same time, we will find the consequences in this same word of God. If we do not follow God's word, we have consequences that we'll, we will face and that will affect our life. And from verse 9, as I conclude, God is with us everywhere. So wherever you go, Wherever you are, God is with you. Even if you feel as if you are alone, you are never alone because God is everywhere and God is with us. Even as, as we continue living the world, in this world, we are on a journey knowing that at the end of the journey, something good is in store for us. And the word of God should be recited day and night. So the word of God should be should be part of who you are, should be your lifestyle, should be recited, should be engraved in your heart, that you may be able to know what God has promised you each and every day. Uh, from the nine verses that we have read, we see that God is telling us to be strong and courageous three times, from verse 6, verse 7, and verse 9. So this is like an emphasis telling us to always be strong and courageous because God is the source of our strength and God is who we, we should depend on for our strength and encouragement. I want to encourage those who, who are listening to us this, this day and you have not known the Lord Jesus Christ, take time 
and learn from the word of God and believe and confess that Jesus Christ is the son of God. So let us pray. Our heavenly Father, we praise you for your name is above and exalted in, in your majesty covers the heaven and the earth. We thank you, Lord, even for the word that you have shared with us today, that you will never leave us, that you will never forsake us. And God, you continue trusting your promises that you have something great in store for us. We receive the inheritance that you have in store for us. And we pray that God, you will give us patience, that God, you will continue encouraging us. May you give us the spirit that you gave Joshua, that God, you will be able to find encouragement even in your word. We bless your name and we honor you. I pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen.